Hello and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Last time we did bread, we did annoying pigs, <laughs> and we got a little bit of a view of Lampire. So let us continue. I think I see the journalist in that shot, so well, that's promising. How closely is she actually tagging along? Ah. Why do we have watermelon? You know what? This is one strange place. Rocks with holes in them. Dug up ground as far as the eye can see. Not always. They say this used to be a huge ancient city. Now there's nothing but desert left. Hmm. Interesting. We all know what happened. The Darkson Calamity happened. <sighs> they say the Dark Hairs used some kind of dark arts to burn the city left nothing but ash can't see what kind of magic it used to burn up this much land though it's just crazy it's a desert I don't know Isara said that was a myth with no real historical evidence look their kind has been digging up ragnite since forever so who's to say they don't know some weird dark city type way to use the stuff as a weapon I'm just saying Anyway, as I was saying, we are in the middle of the Badlands, and what exactly are we doing here? We've received some intelligence. They're saying the Imperials have set up a base near the Barius Ruins. Squad 7 was sent out here to investigate. We need to verify the information. Well, that's it. Imperians here? Some sandbox to come play in. I don't get those Imperians. Who knows what they're thinking? <laughs> Imperians? She's right. Something is definitely up here. Not Imperials? I mean, I just can't figure it out, you know? Why would they occupy this place? Enemy sighted! Well, they're standing out in the middle Tanks of nowhere. Zero four zero. Distance 800. Hold on. Yes, there are foot soldiers as well. And they're taking up combat positions. Well, it looks like we found our bad guys. Squad 7, combat formation. Hmm. Okay. What is the benefit, though? I guess I'm not seeing that. Hmm. So, okay, so this guy totally seems like the I am ambitious and I am brutal and I will not show mercy sort of guy who doesn't really have proficiency. And what he does, he's just uh, merciless. So he tends to do the things other people won't, but he's still not very good when he's pushed to a point where his, like, mercilessness can't win him a battle. I didn't think you could look any gloomier. Now this guy seems that like that sort of, like, lax, laid-back sort of guy who totally is, like, way more competent than most would give him credit for. And he's sort of, like, almost like the opposite of him, in a way. See, that's the impression I've gotten from them, if they're going with at least tropes I could imagine them using here. Oh, it's you. Leave me be. No need to be unfriendly, is there? Is there something on your mind, Gregor? Is Grace Maximilian. Barius holds no strategic worth. Why lead a force there himself? Well, if there was an ancient city there, there might be something hidden. I'm, I, I, you know, that is something. The story has been extremely straightforward so far. So it's basically been like, okay, we're fighting a war. Oh, we did a war thing. It's been pretty straightforward so far, so it's been decent. It hasn't been immensely compelling like the characters are. Good to decent. There aren't a whole lot of, uh, like, characters we focus on. 
there's a lot of good things about the game, but the story is going to need to pick it up at some point if it wants to go beyond being decent. He took Selvaria with him, so it probably has something to do with the Valkyrer. His grace places too much stock in the power of the Valkyrer. The Valkyrer. Valkyria Chronicles, eh? Maybe. But I can understand the fascination easily enough. The power of the Valkyrer is enough to claim all of Europa. Maybe the entire globe. So, a super weapon? Hmm. Even without it, the Empire's military strength is quite capable of taking control of Europa. The stronger you are, the shorter that road. <laughs> I say let him be. My homeland's independence is riding on Maximilian's word. I need him to return to the court with enough clout to honor that deal. Relax, we'll hear all about their desert adventures soon enough. So he isn't like some... okay. Well, go okay, so he isn't like just some emperor that has complete power either, okay. That's interesting. No, it's sort of funny because outside of Alicia and uh, Welkin, it feels like I've gotten a bit of a better understanding of some of the enemies at this point. <laughs> and battle time. You will now be briefed on the operation. There is no way. I don't know how long, well, I know this game is supposed to be less than 30 hours, but I don't know exactly how long this is essentially going to be, but how, like, spread out we are across the country already makes me feel as though we're going to liberate and push them out of the country, like, in the first act or something. Just, like, how close to the borders all the things we're doing. Okay, the enemy spread out across a wide area of the desert. Hmm. You'll move in from the south and take them out. Along the way, you'll find the standing remains of the ruins, which should make for a good cover for enemy fire. Your objective is to claim the enemy's base camp. There's a long distance to cover out there, so I'd recommend adding a long-range sniper unit or two. Two? You're saying I should use two? Oh, you're just at you're telling me I need to bring three. <laughs> When you're ready to advance, though, their limited AP might mean they might fall behind. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's... So I was told that we can summon... So I had... When they originally brought up reinforcements and, like, bringing people to bases, I thought it was just the main base camp they meant you could do that at. Um. Apparently you can do it at any of them. So... I could imagine that being a way we can get people up and moving quicker, like, low AP people moved up into the line, especially if we're gonna, like, hold a line there. Uh, in such a case, move them to the nearest camp after clearing the areas of enemies and have them retreat. Then, after your advance, units act by the next enemy camp, you can redeploy them there. That'll speed them along. Oh, hmm, interesting. It outright tells me that tip. Swapping and leapfrogging units via your camp should be a big help out there. You'll do well to remember it. Good to keep in mind. Uh, the enemy occupies Galley's base camp. All ally soldiers... Okay. 20 turns again. Okay. What do I want to do? Where is this? I'm not really sure what this is supposed to... Is this like a scouting party? Are they stuck up on a ridge? It sort of looks like they're stuck up on a ridge. It's hard to freaking tell from this angle. Hmm. Well, Logan's over here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we we want to bring uh bring our amazing ammo worries. Oh no. Is that always there? What's ammo worries? Oh no. Am I gonna like get less accurate with less uh, ammo? That's bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Okay, I've got a sniper, a couple shock troopers, well, a few stop, uh, shock troopers. Uh, Alicia has a scout, an engineer. 
Uh, I don't think any of these are people that will have problem in- Oh, she has a desert allergy! Of course she does! But I need your command points, damn it! Ah. I don't think any of the rest of them have a problem with it. Some of them are going to be better in a desert, but... Oh, you also have a desert allergy? Oh. Damn it, I should bring... I should bring you instead. Desert bread, too. Yeah, I should definitely bring that. Okay. So I have these guys set up uh, over here. And I have a Largo and a Sniper set up over here. Basically, I'm not really sure how useful uh, Largo's gonna be in his current state. So, essentially, what I want to do is use him to attack any tanks that might be closing in on us. If they are up on a ridge, it makes sense to have both a Lancer and a Sniper up there. They're gonna run out of ammo relatively quickly, but just make sure I use them once a turn or something like that. At most. And I could also spread them out so that uh, the um, lone wolf aspect of her can work well. Okay. Time to try this. All right, we're set to begin. Good luck. I don't really know the lay the of the land well enough to. The desert region. Squad seven, move out. Ooh, this is uh, dire music. This place is really something else. I've never seen rocks with holes like these. Well, if he's looking for this, what was it, Valkyrian? Then I'm gonna assume that's what did this here. It destroyed a city that used to be here. Valio was saying those holes are the result of the same blast that scorched the area. There are furrows dug into the ground too. Must have really been some explosion. Are you serious? That's crazy. Yeah, but those trenches and rock walls should make for solid cover. On an open field like this, we'll use whatever we can get. Squad 7, move out! Okay, let's see. Everyone can see us. Everyone can freaking see us. So, very few, they have a few snipers out there. Gonna have to be wary of that. Uh, I should probably try to handle people like this scout here sooner over later. The hunt begins. Let's see. That's not the scout. Keep an eye on your equipment. So what I want to do is I want to take out the people who can fire at a distance so that they can get closer. I want to save my CP Nothing for the next personal. turn so their initial grouping Sweet of dreams. people can try to advance on me but not be able to do shit about it. Let's see. Uh, Lancer's not great, but I'm not immensely worried about them Please being Lancers. Okay. Okay, there's a shock trooper over there, there's a crouch lancer there. There's a shock trooper there, there's a not crouch lancer th uh, there. I mean, it seems like a generally good idea to try to take out Goodbye. the ones that are not protecting not themselves at the moment. Man down, everybody be careful. Okay. Just leave Let's it to me. Get our shock troopers set up so that they can't advance on us in a Let's do this thing. effective manner. And I'll call that a turn. At least an initial turn. I want to see what they're going to do. Uh, requesting reinforcements. Okay, acknowledging. 
acknowledging your motherfucking snipers up on a thing. I didn't even know. Oh, okay. No, 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 don't, don't, don't you dare. Mm. Fucker. Wow, they're just gonna... No! Okay, we needed to take out their snipers first thing. That's what we really needed to do. Wow. First of all... No, it's not. Oh, I suppose I have to... Shit. Bring her back, don't I? Make sure she doesn't go down. Are you? Oh. Sweet dreams. Who are these guys? Indeed. Okay. Let's try to take out their snipers. Okay, I thought that might happen. I am a bit worried about Just watch this. Uh, Largo here at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and Well Boom! Hope and pray. Oh, I could have done that at first. And then to try to uh take him out. Just watch okay, this. well, maybe this will work effectively. If I aim really, really carefully, it's not gonna work. I don't have enough ammo. Uh, You're done. Four shots to kill. Okay, that's much less effective than I was hoping. But let's get you out of that sniper's view. Okay, okay. We need to move forward and get that other base, I suppose. Oh, almost there. You'll be okay. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You know, aiming for headshots seems to work fairly Man, well, all things considered. I wonder if there's room on the other side. No, I'm gonna that. leave her here for now. Uh. I'm gonna move I'm some shot troopers now. forward. Careful, you're headed towards a machine gun. I'm headed towards a machine gun. <laughs> I am. Huh. Did I see a machine gun set up somewhere? I still don't see it. Hmm. I don't want to do anything. Well, <laughs> that doesn't sound great. Hostiles approaching. Am I mainly going over to give you more ammo? Yes. That is indeed what I'm mainly doing at the moment. It doesn't even matter where I hit him. Oh, that was like an arm. Oh, that almost Target missed. Head for the next oh one. boy. Oh, 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 that was a beautiful shot. Sweet I love dreams. snipers. Enemy unit I like this is basically a sniper's playground at the moment, too. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Oh, there's a tank. There's a... Target sighted. Not an easy target, but... Option number one. Okay, let's see how resilient my luck is. Personal. Ah, basically not at all. Okay, acknowledged. There are quite a few Lancers out here. Now! Don't leave yourself open. Dodging motherfucking. So there's a couple Lancers. Right here, which 
You're headed straight for that machine gun. Might be worth trying to take out sooner over later, basically. So they technically have both of these. Okay, so I need to take this one, then I need to make my way over here. Oh yeah, this might take a while if I'm advancing at my current click. Okay, then they're probably going to attack the Lancers. The reinforcements have arrived, just say. Fortunate. Can they request reinforcements and then also... Underminer fire. Right. I can bring my engineer. They're not hitting me very hard. Uh, could I request reinforcements? Or could they... Minor damage sustained. Hmm. Yeah, they, they might well miss me at this point. Then again, they might just get close enough that I can just, like, steamroll them this next turn. I brought my Lancer sustained. Killer forward. I'm trying to think, can they... Okay, can I or they uh, get reinforcements that bring up my CP again? So, like, I took out some of them, obviously. Like, the red ones seem to be their leadership. That sort of stuff. Okay... Moving closer, they can attack. Well, damage minimal. I don't think they could. Minor damage sustained. No, they can't take me out in two more shots. They can't. But they're bringing out all the lancers, so I can sort of decimate these guys at this point. Sighted. Ready or not. <laughs> Whoa, did I go first person? Oh, it's because of the angle with like things behind me. Okay. Let me help too. And with Alex helping, that makes this fairly straightforward. Next. I'm impressed, but not surprised. And it's easy to get out of their range, too. It's quite easy, actually. And if I stay out of their range, they're not firing at me, and it'll take quite a few shots to kill them with her, but if I get a little, little bit lucky, Please hit. yes, hmm. You're doing well. Just keep it I up. can do that, and I can hide her a bit. And no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no. Mm. Damn it! Fine. Okay. Let's uh. Fix this thing. Thank you. Ooh, not doing too quite as much as I was hoping, but all their lancers are gone, so we should be fine for at least, at least the turn. Don't let the heat get to you. Okay, I think that should be a good one for the turn. Forces have arrived, of course. Of course, you're requesting reinforcements. At least they're not requesting snipers. That was the thing that hurt me the most before. They really haven't been able to do much since then. Oh, that wasn't a great place to put him, was it? Crap. No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. He's definitely gonna go after Alex. I can feel it. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're barely taking them out on the counterattack whenever they do that. Shit, man. Uh, okay. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Stay with us. It won't be long now. You'll help soon, right? I hope. <laughs> uh, and yes, the most important you. thing right now being uh, healing. Honestly, scouts almost seem like they're one. the best choice to deal with uh, shock troopers, especially exposed ones. Like that guy over there was. So, I just gotta make sure I stay out of his range. Moving out! Now! I'm not sure they have anyone else. I I almost feel like they're requesting reinforcements for somewhere else. Hmm. So let's see if we can okay, identify a tank over there. See all these mines. It's basically tanks, 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 tanks. Is there any Please be careful of stray bullets? Yeah, that's that's an actual enemy. Over there. Ooh. Oh, so if we go and like clean up their bodies, what can they not like get reinforcements for them or something? Okay. So I should be able to So we have a shock trooper over here and a bunch of motherfucking tanks. Okay. Moving out. We can take this though, so that should work. You know, I wonder if they were like requesting reinforcements in the same way yeah, like the uh we suggested a possibility to Oh, I just noticed that mine. Shit, there's a lot of mines right here. Let's see, how close can I get? Don't even Ooh. think of dodging. Yes. Now. Please hurry. I'm afraid they won't wait. Good. That okay. Yes, it does. With a Don't bunch of motherfucking tanks down. too. Hmm. We had some people taken out, so maybe I can request some. There are a number of trenches that we might be able to get straight up just closer to and approach their tanks. Hmm. They don't seem to have very many left. Then again, this compound might have more people inside it. Okay, why don't we bring out our anti armor desert bread lancer, Walter Nash? Uh, we have three that we can bring out, so perhaps another one of the shock troopers. Oh, is Alex not an option now? I thought we brought him in... Is it like, you have to wait a number of turns until he comes back and is available? Hmm. That's a bit weird. She has both Tank Slayer... <laughs> no? Yeah, let's bring another uh, Lancer. All these motherfucking uh, tanks might as well, and then we can also bring in a sniper since I just brought a, I just got a, uh, uh, what's her face, the other sniper that was over here out of there. Okay, time here to move the Ada Weiss up at the very least. Can't really retreat it and bring it back. Oh, did that not hit? Oh, that must have been really close if that freaking didn't hit. Fire! Wow. I hate this tank's fucking lack of accuracy. It is frustrating. It is very they frustrating. Okay, I think I have a setup that can work for the future. Reinforcement request cancelled, yay. Well, that worked out well. Miss me, miss me, motherfucking miss me. Well, they don't have much they even can do. Nice. Thank you. Please okay, please that got fixed. And I want to get rid of these fucking mines because they're gonna haunt me forever. How do I get rid of them exactly? 
Okay, just X button thing. All units, watch your surroundings. Okay. Try to keep now that they don't get the fuck with me, position. let's start sending people out. Enemy found. Okay, sure starting to see some to stay other enemies than what we're seeing here. Yeah. Okay, start moving people forward. So we're seeing some shock troopers out here. That's a good acknowledgement. Roger you know that. what we're dealing with, at the very least. I'll probably miss. I'll probably miss. Well, yeah, he is a bit of a pessimist, isn't he? You may. Yeah. Oh, come on. Really? Hit the treads, not the freaking body. Just trying to take it out that turn. Roger that. Damn it. Well, I can always send a Herbert Ford next turn and I'll probably miss. Get them uh Nice work. Keep taking Oh, that wasn't down. one of their command stuff. Hmm. Mm, okay, well that's fine. So their base is just all the way over there. It's not even really like have many full so they might be able to get a bit across with the shock troopers over there. So one thing I wanna do. I don't know. Let's do this thing. If I'm gonna lose my command point next turn. If I use this to bring her over there. I know she's not good in the desert, but she'll be more protective. I'll be able to check more people to uh, as a result at the very least. So they appear to only have shock troopers. Knowing how far they can move, my guy moved that far in multiple moves, so they might. I'm gonna retreat a little bit. Instead of leaving her in the open. Please go for another shot. I don't think any of the guys in the trenches are visible at this point. I think I actively need to get closer. I think the trenches are actually better cover than the uh, sandbags. Goodbye. Okay, did some damage. That's all I really could hope for at that point. Take a good look at your mm, no, let's get her a bit more out of uh, a visibility of people. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's all I can do. Reinforcements have arrived. Sniper, eh? Fun. I... Yep, yeah, that's the... <laughs> risk! <laughs> I didn't think they'd bring a sniper. Okay, okay, okay. Miss, 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 miss. My goodness! Are you gonna go for it? Are oh, you just gonna hit the wall? That's what I did that earlier. I, pr I probably cut it out, knowing how I do these things. But <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my! I think their sniper's still standing up. So, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Largo, you go protect the base. <laughs> Roger. Their sniper is still standing up, right? So. Yeah. I don't need to deal with your sniper at the moment. I really don't. Ah. I wonder if I stand up, it'll be easier to hit because of the, uh... I can always crouch afterwards. I don't see why they didn't just smooth her. Is the AI just stupid or something? Why wouldn't you put your guy right next yet. to the sandbags into a crouching Bad position job. once you're done a shooting? It's payback time, kids. <laughs> it's payback Fresh time, meat. kids. I can see you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, so I can't really approach that next trench without taking out this tank. Huh. 
So, let's try that. Worst case, I bring up Herbert and refill an ammo. I'm sure it's hot, but... Looks wait, like wait, the wait. Wind's really picking up. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I only accidentally got up on here. I suspect it's a sandstorm, Welks. These Badlands are infamous for sandstorms, bad enough to drop visibility to zero. No, that wasn't the... Fuck. I see. That'll make it tougher to spot the enemy until the storm blows over. Yes, but the same applies to the enemy. Now is our chance to advance undetected. Hiding within the sandstorm is a valid tactic when crossing ground with no natural cover. I understand, but does it affect accuracy? Good idea. Thanks, Ys. Because they already have seen us all. I'm not sure this... Shit, man. Shit, man. Why? Yeah. Damn it! I need to take out that tank this turn so I can advance without killing time. all my guys. Take this. I just keep missing. Oh, that's all I do. Okay, heal her up. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do a ton more than try to take out that tank on this turn. No, oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to freaking try this. Roger that. I can see their tank. I can continuously try to shoot at it. Go down. Please go down. I'll probably miss. Uh, you're really the optimist. <laughs> okay. Um So, basically, I have one more turn and it takes one more shot. So, Time to test our metal of accuracy. Take this. How do you miss three times in one turn? God damn it. Oh, why did I stop that? Oh, shoot. No. Well, I don't think the shock troopers can get close enough, anyways. Reinforcements have arrived. No sniper, no sniper, no sniper, no sniper, no sniper. Okay, now they're fucking moving the tank. Somewhere. I bet I can still see its shadow through all this. Can tanks go over trenches? I don't know if that's been established. <laughs> Fuck you! Okay, at least we know where their fucking tank is and they're bringing the other one back. Oh, oh boy. At this rank, I'm probably gonna want to take on their last tank with the tank v tank battle. You know, after I take out the shock troopers that are. Uh... No! What? Did you just sniper? Oh my goodness! Dying. Who's over? Th I didn't even notice people over there. Shit. Okay. Did the did the fucking thing end? Leave it to Aunt Yoko. Let's see some work, ladies. Can you hit from this distance? Nobody knows. Yeah. Sorry, uh, dear. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Sorry, dear, indeed. So sandstorm's over. I guess no that was a one-turn thing. Him out of there. Hey, medic! Goodbye! There we go. Fuck your sniper. I'm not done yet. Good work. I guess it's up. Uh, not like the sandstorm was doing much for me either way. To kill, my goodness. That I one sort of looks like way. they're standing though. Yep. Good old potential. Take this. 
You're never gonna hit shit, are you? Uh, God damn it, Yoko! Great nature it means I can shoot you. Fire! Yay! Okay, I'm not really gonna need much in terms of uh. See, I don't have I don't have a shock trooper killer, do I? Probably not. You know, let's bring Wendy in. It's basically mainly gonna be normal enemies, and yeah, there's a sniper. Of course, there's a sniper. I'll be able to take that tank out, and it's basically just shock troopers after that next. So. What? Mm, mm. What are you even trying to do there? Oh my! Hmm. Minor damage okay. I can take more than four shots, like you can't. So, trying to shoot a sniper. Ha! Did he hit something? Hmm. Oh, another sniper. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am very happy I brought her back down. Okay, so dealing with snipers. Probably want to do by fighting snipers. Yeah, he's just hitting the ground. Okay, uneven terrain, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so we know there's a sniper over there. Uh, okay, and the sandstorm happens again. Nice. Wait, where did the ch tank... Can I just not see the tank now? Well, that's fun. Now! Clear to advance. Move out. Okay, you legitimately just can't go over trenches. Acknowledged. Okay. Now. Ha ha! Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, boom. So this is the idea at the moment. I have advanced, but I'm not really at a point that I'm comfortable. Leaving these guys unattended, essentially. I know their tank's a bit over there. It's gonna be hard for them to uh, move around and hit me here. So I took out the immediate threats, and they have snipers, so they can still hit me, even in the trenches or in the other stuff. So, essentially, my idea, my hope, is to crowd everyone up against here, so their snipers can't really hit our guys at a distance. I don't really feel as though Alicia's at too much of a worry, especially if the stands, uh, sandstorm keeps up. So... And... Okay. I am I'm worried about Jane at the moment, but... Sandstorm's continuing, so we should be fine on the sniper front. More so than I had feared. Oh, they didn't really do much. They can't. Oh, and there we go. Beautiful. Oh, they have multiple snipers now. Isn't that nice? Entering combat. Hey, buddy. You want to make this easy? Fire! Let's make this easy. Huh. Why did I thought that was supposed? To... That's. Sh... I suppose I hit the treads that last time. My bad. Either way, this is my intent. Yay. Target silenced. Never again. There we go. I'm not done yet. Who are these guys? Uh the other guys are down, so my plan is My turn, okay? Take out that other sniper with Alicia. Now that I can actively procure the exact location, I'm going to use, uh, take advantage of her large AP 
to get back there, and the fact that there isn't any tanks to fucking shoot at me. In the sandstorm, especially. <laughs> that was always a risk. Boop. Hello. Hey, buddy. Wanna have fun? No! You... You jerk! Malia the Dust. Here, let's... Let's stand here. We're gonna... We're gonna take another turn at this. You can't shoot back at me. You are... My turn, okay? You're gonna have to fucking deal with it. No ducking this time. No ducking this time. Malia the Dust. My ass. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. Seems to not be a trench over here. Okay. So they have a sniper and a shock trooper. I think we can deal with this. Here, let's. We brought uh, Wendy out for <laughs> a reason. It. Let's start moving her forward. I am a little worried about the sniper with that, but I don't think the sniper has the uh, ability to do stuff with the tank in the way. To move mm, more snipers. I forgot about that possibility. My bad. Requesting reinforcements, eh? Ooh, you're just gonna go crouch over there and shoot at something you. What? Damn. How? Did you shoot like in between the motherfucking. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? That angle! How is that even possible? You bastard. You motherfucking bastard. Oh, I'm mad now. I am mad now. Okay, medic out there. Shit, man. the idea. Because <laughs> now I can do this. You're gonna get shot. <laughs> I got lucky with one there. Am I gonna kill any of you with this one? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I might take out both at once. Nice. Man down, everybody. Oh, not quite close enough. I have to use up another CP. How dare you. I'll, I'll use the one with more AP to be a little bit on the safe side in regards to that. Fine. Freaking snipers. Snipers were my bane in this one, as well as my salvation. something. Sniper rifle related? I'm still not sure there's a mean. It doesn't seem like we can change- I mean, I guess we might be able to change loadouts on guys. I haven't really tried that. Yeah. It might be the case. Oh, okay. That's- huh? What's this supposed to be anyway? Much more intact than the rest of it. What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins interior. The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? Well, the only thing I can think of that you explicitly would have seen something about it is if, like, your father interacted with it at some point. This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyr themselves. The Valkyr. So Valkyr, Valkyr, that was what it was. Yes. 
The Bakurer make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Bakurer just disappear. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. That's a bug? A Dread Nautilus? What's that? I assume it's not a type of Dreadnought. <laughs> you don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. Hmm. Interesting. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. Um, I mean, it's not unusual for technology to be based on nature, given the uh, taking advantage of some of the more advanced like strategies for survival that animals have de uh, developed through evolution over time. Welkin, you can be such a... Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside, then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Well, if they were probably, I mean, they were probably after this area, right? That's what they wanted to do? Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? Are you guys actually inside where we were? Or are you somewhere else in the area? Huh. Or did we go to different ruins? Because I thought it implied that we went to, like, the same ruin and they were interested in this area and we happened to uh, see activity here, so we came to try to reclaim it. I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? Okay, calling it. She's probably one of these Valkyrs, right? What do you read, child? Valkov, the holy lance, scorcher of the vast earth, asleep eternal in the bosom of Randrys. You know, yeah, I, I sort of remember something that I'm definitely going to say is that from the uh, opening cinematic. I will note, if our main character is a tank, having the ultimate enemy be a lancer, that would make a little bit of sense. Made pillar of its keeper's keep, kept thereby for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. But your grace... How do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. Neat. Chapter 7. The Battle at Barius. Do we not find anything? Hmm. Or skirmishes. Okay. Well, I guess we'll check what might have came up at the uh, headquarters at the very least. Hello, well. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There's always new recruits. Juno. I recall that name. Oh, like Swelkin. Interesting. I should, Catherine. I remember the name primarily from people. She looks uh. Panicky. Charging to the face of an uh, enemy fire makes him panic, decreasing attack power. That seems not great for a shock trooper. Hmm. Okay. Uh, anyone else new? Nope. Interesting. Do I want to switch anyone out? Let's see. You don't. Metal allergy, so basically I don't want to- I wouldn't want to use her around a tank. Which isn't too bad. Trench is no good, so like where we were before. Yeah, a lot of negatives. I mean, go with- nah. 
for you. Uh, is there any one I'd want to take out for you? Oh, I can get rid of the bad bag. Let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the bad you bag. Got my mark, kid. You ever need a relic like me again? Just give me a call. Sure will. Except I kept getting new people. So. I'm Edie Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. Okay. Okay. I assume the ones, yeah, the ones in red are my leaders. And I should be bringing out every time. It's sort of a shame that you have to bring out certain people. I mean, they're typically pretty decent, but... Yeah. Actually, have we gotten this cherry person yet? No? Ooh, no. Hmm. That sniper killer would have been... That sniper killer and desert bread would have been useful for that last one. It's almost like they gave me them for a reason at that point. Yeah. Oh my, these are getting a bit more expensive as we go down, aren't they? Uh, accuracy boost, though. Yay. <laughs> I think I want to make sure I 100% get the armor upgrades. <laughs> and also make sure I'm getting uh, most of these weapon upgrades, like every time they're available. At least until they, like, <laughs> go out like that. Holy moly. I feel like there's going to be a point where decisions are going to have to be made or grinding is going to need to happen. I guess that's a question for people who knew. Is there a general need at a point to get your units up to a specific, like, levels and equipment amounts? Like... Because, like, I'm not trying to worry about the grades, but at the same time, I can be somewhat limited by all this as a result. Come back again. And I, I rather not grind for stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to try to get better grades Welcome or anything. To your worst nightmare, maggots. I guess I more am just curious is if I should expect a need to actually grind with the skirmishes at some point. If there actually will be a need. Like, the actual scaling isn't... Like, there actually is a scaling aspect with the XP and everything. And it's not like a minimal impact, ultimately. Trade all you... Okay. I'm gonna... I like... S I like snipers. Oh my, I, I use it, most of them by doing that. I'm gonna just finish up leveling up my Lancer and hold the XP for other stuff. You're better than this! Let's push Engineer up, you know. That's them being the main healers and the bullet. No pain, no basically gain. probably the more important one to keep at a higher level out of everything. Good. Okay. New order. All units defend. So I've been told multiple times that the orders are apparently OP. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. And they might be. I guess we'll see, basically. I haven't felt a need to use them. It's so like in the same way in like the trail series where I if I felt like the S crafts really weren't necessary as part of the strategy and they weren't balanced as well as part of the strategy as I may at least think, then I wasn't going to use them because they felt they felt like they were a little easy modish at times, especially in Cold Steel. Less so in the Sky games, I f actually feel they're a bit more well balanced in those, especially for some characters that are like based around being able to get onto their S craft quickly. I still don't really try to use them unless I need to, but... It'll probably be one of those cases where... Uh, orders will probably be something that I just use... If I feel the need to use them. But I'll probably not... Hey! Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good I, I, I probably just won't use them unless I feel that need. And otherwise, I'll just ignore them probably to the point where I won't identify when I actually need to use them. Uh... Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. Is Squad 7 the rising star, or are you talking about someone specific? I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, Imperial Shadow hits Barius. Central Galleon Command reported on the 15th that the militia had encountered and routed a uh, condition of Barius Station in Barius. Is that where we were? Combination of the machine, the reporting pure activity in the air, the Badlands stop gravity, spread the suit to combat maneuvers. And the region holds little to no strategic value, making the Empire skill there. Okay, yeah, that's basically what we just did. So we were in Barius, essentially. Uh, Gallia Federation ta uh, talks begin. 
During a press session on the 10th, Galilean Prime Minister Borg, Borg, um, <laughs> I wouldn't want that name, called for talks with the Federation Ambassador Townshend. <laughs> Not a great name either. Slated to visit Galilee at the end of the month. In light of the increasingly complex conflict between the Federation and Empire, however, many suspect the Federation views this as a chance to acquire Galia for its resources. Yeah. This announcement has been met with a vehement opposition from the members of Parliament with strong ties to the former Imperial Cartels. Ambassador Townshend responded to the invite in a public address stating that he firmly believes that joining hands to thwart the Empire's brisk ambitions is essential to assuring peace for Europa. Well, that's a possibility. Da, 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 da. Right in this. Sure, why not? Uh, ooh, how far back? Ooh. Report. Largo's passion. This is a while back. So is this like actual timeline-wise? I figured everything would be like right around when it happened. Okay. God, starving! Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Ugh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys, have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. See, the key is Welkin just came from eating lunch, because, you know, it's during lunchtime. He had to go get lunch, right? <laughs> you may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. Oh, no. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. So, farmers are taking advantage of the current situation? What did you say? I'm not saying they, they should, but, you uh, know, I suppose we must be importing more stuff more than anything. Because I know countries can, like, like in World War II, I know there was a time when prices were, like, set, not necessarily for food, but for a lot of stuff in industry where basically, okay, the country needs this. You're, we're setting the price. We're going to pay you something. You're going to make a profit. That's fine, but we need this stuff, and you're not going to be gouging us just because we need this in order to ensure our safety. Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? What? A motherfucking line. <laughs> what? I was just... What's your problem? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. <laughs> we really going this route? <laughs> we really going this route? Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. <sighs> the fear of veggies? Is he serious? What about fruit? I much prefer fruit. I don't like vegetables very much. <laughs> there are actually not very veg uh, many vegetables that I particularly like, unless they're like processed into the point that they are basically something else like tomato sauce and stuff like that. Which might technically be a fruit. I always forget if that's technically one or the other. You will now be briefed on the operation. I like corn. I like carrots. After that, meh. Oh shit! Are we actually doing? The mission will be fought on the outskirts of Vassal and enemy blockades for restricted traffic along the route. The combat spilling over civilian dwellings here prevents us from making this a large-scale operation. I didn't think that we were actually going to be doing stuff in regards to this. Oh, I didn't think any of these reports actually had battles in them. Oh, okay, I'm not going to do this at the moment. I'll go over the report. You have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead small force of foot soldiers into the village. Your objective is to destroy the two tanks standing on the road ahead. You'll likely uh, face heavy fire from those tanks if you just march along the road. Maybe the long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing your spots attack safely. Okay, which means this is definitely something Largo needs to focus on. I'm afraid we can't spare a medic to accompany a team as small as the one you'll be taking in. To compound things, this is a night op. You'll be needing less visibility than you're used to. Maybe no sight line, uh, sight line to target more than a certain uh, distance away, so 
Uh, you can't spot them in attack uh, action mode. Consequently, if even one of your soldiers falls in combat, you're to pull out immediately. Mission failure. Okay, so this is like a side thing where it's like, no, you can't have people die here. You're not allowed to have people die here. That's a, a lot of special conditions and requirements. Be extra careful as you plan to move out there. One final note. You won't have your tanks wireless set up, so you won't be able to issue orders during the mission. Okay. They want things to go a very specific way in this, don't they? I bet this is going to be relatively easy. And Woken's still going to be there. Despite not having the tank. Okay. <laughs> and we get two... We get... Three units of Woken. Largo. Oh my. We have to bring an engineer, right? Okay, well, no, I'm going to think about that next time. I can come back to that. For now... Oh... I guess for now, let's... Uh, let's just leave it at that. We can do another episode next time. Okay. Next time, I'll go do that and go into the next chapter and all that fun stuff. Okay. I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone.